Welcome back to another closet review. <laughs> Welcome back to another review. And today I'm gonna to take a look at the Castlevania, the art of the animated series, which is a really cool book for a really cool show. This is the book, the spine. This is the back. Also on the back was this. Bit of a summary overview of what you get to see in there. I'm gonna keep that. And it's a fairly thick book. It's over 191 pages. It's a lot to go through. So let me just show you what you get from the very beginning. Look at that. I love it. It's really nicely presented. Beautiful artwork. You got your table of contents here. Saviors and Innocent. And it starts with the characters. It's really cool. I love seeing like that. When you have your artwork, you got different elements of the costumes and props, and then different artwork there. Head poses, finding Trevor's got a little some text explanations, but you got cool expression poses there, and then some elements from the show. And it's really, really detailed in terms of you get to see all the uh, different characters there, their clothing variations. Look at that. I love it. That's cool. Come on. So I'm gonna go through a bit faster. You can always slow it down just in case you want to look through the separate pages. I'm making sure that I am not skipping things. You can see the page count there. Going through that for all the other characters. Then it goes into storyboards and then other characters. And it's so detailed in terms of how many characters it's going through, which is so cool. Love that again with different scale, different expressions, different costume versions. Got a little gruesome image there. Look at that, super detailed. The demons and the Dan. So you got that, come on. I love this too. When you get some of the rougher sketches and then the final imagery, so cool. Love this. Very Batman-y, of course, by the cape. Back into some storyboards. The Bishop, you got more characters. Also stuff like that. And I love it. It's just how detailed and how many images you have of the characters, their faces, different poses and costumes. I like that it's not just one or two with some broader images. It's really going through a fine comb of details. That's cool. And every now and then you got the storyboards, more characters. So if you're looking for an art of book with a bunch of characters, this book will be your jam. I love this too in terms of the silhouette. It's great. Great creatures. Storyboards. That's cool. Come on, look at those creatures. Love those designs there. It's cool how you got some details, but then overall you can still make it super appealing with the sharp edges for a silhouette. So you know that this is not a friendly thing. It's great. Love these. What kind of monsters there. Awesome. I mean, it's basically every page is awesome here. That's cool. Or demons. And the lands beyond, that's cool. So now you're getting into some of the environments, which is so cool in terms of the uh, day of time explorations, different backgrounds, different angles. I mean, you know, it's a castle. How many different angles can you have? But it's great seeing that explore, getting into the interiors, the engine room. Again, it's a big book. I want to go through a bit, a bit faster. Feel free to pause. That's cool. Look at that. It's more about the interiors. The estate, that's cool. The holds, that's nice too there. That's cool, love this. Get into the village. I wish I had a few more of these sketch explorations and just kind of, instead of the final form, I would love to see more of that personally. I love seeing sometimes kind of the rougher, unfinished form. I love seeing this in terms of exploration and the colors and all that's all really cool. But sometimes the how did you get there would have been also cool. So it's definitely more on the finished side for the buildings, but still super detailed in terms of how many and interiors as well. Into that, the desert. Spoilers. Tunis, you got the ship. More environment. That's cool too here. I love some, sometimes also some more close ups and details would have been cool too. You got that until the infinite corridor. 
And that's pretty much the ends. You have hell and then with this. And that is the end. So overall, I'm a massive fan of especially the beginning section with these characters. And this is the re main reason why I got it. It's just cool to see all that. I love seeing facial expressions and poses, just the designs and the colors and the costumes. That's my main interest in this. I personally would have loved a few more rough explorations in terms of sketches. So in a sketch like this, or just the rougher, where you really see the evolution from, this was the main idea, and then this is what we got at the end. I think that would have been really cool. And potentially, I know this is separate and this is mainly, as it says here, the animated series. I still would have loved more of a connection between the game, games, a lot of games out there, and just the series to see while well, we did this, we designed that, and this is how it relates to the game, just in visual form. So you can kind of see, even if it was like from like pixels to final form, like, the, you know, more detailed sprites to the animated form. I think a bit more, less only animated series. And I know that's what it is. It says the art of the animated series, I know. But maybe one chapter would have been kind of cool, but maybe that's for another book or another exploration. But as it is now, it's still super cool. And I love, love, love all of this. Definitely a fan of the environments, but again, I'm always a big fan when in art of books you have a really like a deep exploration of these are maybe like reference photos, explorations of that's what that was the inspiration. Do some rough sketches, get into this. This is the final form, a bit more from beginning to the end. So that's my little caveat. If you're trying to get this book, or if you want to get this book, you can see it through that page through. That's what you get. It's more on the final form on the latter end here, but that is come on. I love all this. Great designs. Great show. So I'm still happy I got this. And that is that for the page through. Short and sweet, but I want to continue with my series. And really, I have so many books in the back and I have a massive pile of books. So I want to get going. So lots of more stuff coming in terms of books, but also a bunch of hardware. So the uh, review series is going to continue in full force. But if this is something for you and you like these book reviews or book flip throughs and also my hardware tech and all kinds of stuff, review coverage, feel free to subscribe. I know it's the pitch again, but I'll be covering a lot more stuff, including hardware. Tune in next week for more of that. And uh, hopefully I'll see you or you will see me uh, as you watch more clips. And that's it. Thanks.